Welcome to Kensu Gaming, this is Empire Total War with Darth Mode installed. We are fighting as the United States against the British. And what I would like to say is that I personally believe that Empire Total War and also all the other games from the Total War series are amazing. They are epic, but with Darth Mode installed they become even more epic. You have greater troop numbers, you have better uh, game effects. Of course it's only better if you have a good enough machine to handle it. But I assume that most people who play Total War series do have that. Uh, so let's have a look what kind of troop composition we have here. We have... Well, usually we could split uh, up our cavalry on the left side and the right side, but I personally prefer to keep it on one side so that I can have some uh, uh, strength, strength in numbers, and hopefully we can overwhelm the enemy at one flank. If I split them up, then then I might be facing a similar or greater number of uh, enemy cavalry, and then I will have uh, trouble to break through them. Let's have a look at our troop composition. I have four artillery units, then I have also three regiments of uh, long riflemen or there is also some other type of unit, the Morgan's Provisional Rifle Corps, it is also great range. And then we also have US Marines, we have 1st Delaware, 1st Maryland, 2nd New York and also some Continental Marines. Now let's have a look from the point of view of the artillery while our troops are getting closer. I love how it looks like. So the enemy artillery has fired. Oh! These guys didn't survive, but at least the artillery piece is still intact. Now I'm moving my troops in a way so that I will protect my artillery. And at the same time, my long rifle core is advancing so that they can start engaging the enemy at long range. In the art mode also the AI is much more advanced, they're more clever, more cunning, and it's more of a channel challenge. So this is going to be a very tight battle. Now you can see one of my artillery is already rooting. It's very unfortunate. And we can see also a line setting up here. Now these line jackets have been engaged by the cavalry. They were trying to flank us here. Didn't work out. But you can see there is already a massive battle going on here. These are the US Marines. This is hard setting, which means the enemy is slightly stronger. Now here they managed to push through our 2nd New York Regiment and unfortunately I have these long range guys having to fight the cavalry 
So I'll first push forward with the second uh, New York Regiment so that my other guys can retreat. These set up a new line to protect the artillery and to fire from range. And these guys can hopefully hold the line. Now let's have a look at the left side, at the left flank. Here we have engaged this cavalry, but unfortunately our strength is not enough to overwhelm them. And they're bringing also reinforcements. One of our groups, uh, one of our units is already rooting, so we to retreat with everything. But this is very unfortunate because while I was focusing on this side, that thing on the left side happened. Now these guys are going to fire their volley again. Let's have a look at the battle lines. You can see here the light dragoons of the British Army. They're taking their aim. But obviously our mass police are going to stop them. shooting at us, Dragoons, but now we have three units and it seems that they are single but we are forced uh, to attack, so that's also what we're gonna do. Unfortunately we're being shot at from the side, from the flank by these guys, but it doesn't matter, we're gonna push and we're gonna try to take them out. They have 15 units of Light Dragoons, we have 60 here and then we have 39 here, but their will is not especially strong. each other and hopefully we manage to kill enough of them so they are off before our unit is done before I is done Let's have a look at what's happening here. Here we managed to kill the enemy cavalry, but we have taken great losses. This long rifle division has lost half its army. Second New York division has only 60 men. Oh, we have some enemy there. It's really spiky. And now they're not winning slightly anymore. Now they're losing slightly. And they're losing. Now, as you have noticed, I'm turning my lines slightly. I'm always trying to make kind of circles so that I can uh, have as many units firing at them as possible. Now they have finally rooted and we have lost a lot a lot of units. We have only one cavalry unit left so this battle here turned out to be very devastating for us. have a couple 
functioning artilleries. Obviously some of them have been switched as well. Now, here we have lost a lot of units due to a canister shot. No, that was a shrapnel shot. There's not much fire and these guys are going to root as well. You can see the number of units killed here. These are all of my units along this line. The artillery is not going to be easy to take. We are going to have multiple units shooting again. As you can see I have also spread out my units, I don't keep them in a tight formation. This helps me to limit my losses. For example now I lost only two soldiers and if I had four ranks, four lines, then I could have lost the intent. to attempt some long range shots. Enjoyed it.